in these hard times, actually having something that can bring people together. I love to use the phrase big society. Something where people can uh, gather together um, and it, it represents something to do with Clapham and the people who live here rather than you know, some vested interest elsewhere. I'm here today because I believe in uh, Clapham Library. I live in Ballam, I'm a local boy. And as I gather there, talking about flogging the building off, uh, and we don't want a Tesco's. If it is going to be sold off, it should be sold uh, in order that it serves the community, as the library itself was done since the early, early in the 19th century. Any North Londoners in tonight? Scum. <laughs> You know the difference between North and South London? In North London they have little blue plaques commemorating famous people. In South London we have big yellow signs saying, Did you see this murder? <laughs> We're trying to save the library. Is that true? Yeah! Right. Okay. Well, we finally cracked it, and yesterday we handed our bid in to Lambeth. For a long time, they were promising to give us the building as an asset transfer, but now they put it out for sale. So, as Arthur rightly says, it could be a Tesco. <laughs> I can't be doing my dinner parties, you know. You have to go in and say, oh, what lovely wallpaper, you must give me the recipe sometime. <laughs> I, went to a, I went to an 80s party, you know, I forget coming back, you know, I went to an 80s party, it turned out it was a party for people in their 80s. <laughs> Which I sort of more or less am. You know, I think what happens to you when you get really old, what happens is you wake up, you start looking for your glasses, you find them, time to go back to bed. <laughs> It was designed for the people of Clapham, and that's what it should be for. And I'm here tonight to do a benefit in order to help raise some money, in order to uh, get that message across. Save Clapham Library for the community. Hurrah!